Hey, how you doing? So I'm out in the woods today. So a couple of things I want to get done in the woods today. Uh, first is to harvest some fatwood. Uh, quite a few pine trees around me in these woods about this morning. Um, yeah, it saves, saves buying it online. It's pretty plentiful in the UK if you know where to look. So I'll, I'll show you how that goes if and when I find some. Uh, other thing I want to do is um, make my own bow drill. So I'm going to try and find some... Whoa! That was deeper than I thought. Uh, yeah, make my own bow drill. Uh, so I'm going to look for some materials to make that. So yeah, catch up with you in a bit. see this forest is absolutely packed with non-deciduous pine trees so the idea is I've gone off piece a little bit here off the off the uh, the tracks uh, and what I'm looking for is some lower limbs sort of towards the the base of the the trunks and that's where you're most likely to find fat wood. So. so I've come across this tree. Uh, as you can see, it's, a, it's quite a tall pine tree. Um, this branch shape sprouting off the bottom. Um, it's been dead for a while um, and it's most likely um, to have a core of pretty good fat wood. So I'm going to take that off um, and see what, what it's got inside. So I've brought this with me. Just a, a, a small saw, so we're going to have this limb off. It's dead. That's looking pretty good. You can see the high resin content in the in the cross section there. So yeah, pretty good find. You're probably wondering where's the pocket rocket? The Trini stayed at home today. When I left, it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. So just took one look outside and uh, thought better of it. So I'm on my own today, but when I do get home and process the, the fat wood so that, you know, I can store it and keep it and bring it on camps and stuff, she'll be with me and helping out. Walking through the woods, I've come across this little random little canyon. It's more of a hole in the ground, but still quite unexpected. So I've just come across this. It's uh, it's obviously been dead for a while. It was lying on the floor. Um, you can see by the the uh, dark orange colour there, it's absolutely loaded with resin, which is what makes great fat wood. So I'm gonna have a few lumps off that and uh, see if it's any good when I get home.
it might be okay. So I'll take that with me and uh, see if it's any good. So I'll just check the, the other end of the that big branch that was fallen. So this would have been growing from the trunk, which is where the the, uh, the resin tends to store in its most concentrated state. So I'll take a lump off this end. Hopefully it's a bit better than the other. Granny to suck eggs or anything because there's there's quite a few videos on YouTube about fat wood what it is but on the off chance that you don't know what it is it's basically pine wood with a very high content of um, resin up to 80% so it's a brilliant fire starter in wet conditions if you you know if your woods a little bit damp the fat wood will really give it a chance of taking so yeah you'll know that anyway this pine tree with a load of these dead sort of stumps coming out the the trunk near the base so a lot of the resin is stored towards the bottom of the trunk so these types of branches are going to be absolutely perfect so I'll take a couple of them and see what the resin contents like As you can see this log pile these are a load of uh, pine trees that have been felled and logged. You can see these, these cores here, the dark orange colour, that's packed with resin, which makes it absolutely bad for the fact. Obviously not going to hack into these because they've been logged and they're, you know, they've got the forestry commission, but yeah, it's, Good example of exactly what we're looking for. Are okay? Let's try it home. Process it down, see how good it is. So, back in the car, um, got a fairly good haul of potential decent bits of fat wood, so, but we won't know for sure until I get home, split them open, process them down. Yeah, we'll have a look when we get home. I'll see you there. So, back from the woods, um, and it's time to process some of this fat wood. Hopefully we get some decent bits out of it. Um, won't really know until um, we cut into it, but yeah, a few of the better bits. So you can see the high resin content in, in those guys there. Not so much this fella here, but we'll see how far up uh, the resin goes. So yeah, time to process a bit and see what we got. Good stuff in there, you can see. Notches is where it's at. It's always a good indication what level of fat wood, what the sort of quality is gonna be. Not so great this end.
so far, uh, the fat wood hasn't been the best quality, but this lump here, um, I've got really high hopes to be honest. Big giveaway is the weight. It's it's significantly heavier than um, other bits of wood of this size, um, and that's a telltale sign that it's it's uh, got a really good resin uh, content. So you can see the the dark colour in there, this end as well. So that that dark orange really good indicator. So I'm gonna open this up, see what we've got inside. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a seam of raised dark stuff there. That's basically a trail of pure resin that's leached out of the tree when it was uh, cut or injured in some way. So yeah, that that's pure resin, and that will that will go up very very easily if introduced to a spark. Good bit of fat with that. So, this piece of fat wood is absolutely amazing. The weight of it is unbelievable. It's really got some weight to it. Um, so yeah, you can see I've taken all the, the bark off. All that, the, the smell of it is really, really resinous and piney and it's unmistakable, um, the, the smell of, of fat wood. So yeah, what, what I'll do is, Chop this in half and then split split it probably into four, five, six um, little chunks of fat wood and then th that'll probably last us a good year. Good year of camps, wild camps, uh, all our fire starting needs are all, all in that one lump. So yeah, really good day. Um, glad I went out, braved the rain. Um, yeah, good day all round. Just to show the the difference in fat wood and normal pine pine wood. So look 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 at the the ends of these. So this little fella here, um, you can see it's a far lighter colour than this guy here. Um, and it's purely because of the, the resin content. Um, and it's the resin that makes this guy such a really good fire starter. So yeah, that's quite a useful um, comparison, what you're looking for. They are perfectly manageable lumps that you can take on a camp with you. One of those is more than enough to keep you going. So as you can see, Her Royal Highness has joined me. Very gracious of you to join me, Your Majesty. <laughs> Trini's come along for the best bit. So what's all the fuss about, basically, we're collecting fat wood so that we can make fires, even in wet conditions. Um, it will take a spark, the dust, the shavings. Um, so yeah, let's see, see what it's all about, what the fuss is all about, and let's try and get a quick fire going. Yeah. Let's bring you down here a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, where's the knife? Here it is. 
So what we need is back of the knife. Let's get some of these backward shavings. And these should easily take a spark. Didn't they, Trinice? We've done this dozens of times out camping, haven't we? So, there we go. See this dust here? This is also brilliant stuff. So when I was uh, cutting the big lump of fat wood in half, all these dusty bits, I collected them. They'll, they'll go to get the, the fire going. And then with the, the blade end of the knife, you can also get some uh, slightly bigger shavings going. All different levels of kindling, really. So just to be prepared for once you, your scrapings take a spark, and then you're good to go. So, ferrous rod and steel, you've seen this before. This is how easy it is to get going. I there we go. It. So, a few of the shavings on there. Nearly smothered it, but we're all good. And then you, you just get some of these small bits that you process down from your fat wood. That's it, Trini, you stick them on. Very good. And then in no time, this develops into the mother of all campfires. So that's a, just a quick demo, see what all the fuss was about. Um, it's been... Uh, oh, put that out I'll be in big trouble setting mum's uh, chopping board on fire wouldn't I so yeah that was just a quick fatwood harvesting video um hope you've enjoyed it hopefully get this one involved a little bit more in the next one <laughs> but yeah that's that's all there is to it really um fatwood's plentiful it's out there you can harvest it from pine wood forests plenty around the country so yeah all good stuff Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. See ya. Bye-bye.